Hi guys and welcome back and yes I've finally completed the Darwin 1942 diode, JRH Darwin 1942 and uh, look I've wanted to do this for the vast majority of my life since I was about uh, 16 and uh, I found it both enjoyable to do but also difficult to complete it. Uh, I was quite surprised by how emotional I actually uh, became while putting this together. I'm glad it's finished and I'm really pleased with how it came up and uh, I hope you enjoy seeing the finished product. Now I didn't think we had any pictures of Dad's war service years, I'd never seen any in all my time and it actually was something that I was, you know, was disappointed in that uh, I thought there, there would have had to have been some somewhere and look, just recently we found an unexpected treasure trove of literally hundreds of pictures that we didn't know existed and uh, amongst them were some of Dad's war service pictures of his time actually in Darwin so I mean it was just an enormous bonus and uh, I thought I'd include those just to let you see the 20 year old man uh, who served his country so many years ago. So we'll just do the normal 360 whiz around the diorama and first you'll probably see that I managed to incorporate Dad's slouch hat badge and the two shoulder badges that would have been on his um, uniform jacket into the base of the diorama. I've been hanging onto those for many many years and this seemed like a good place to keep them in a, uh, an appropriate sort of scene. Really happy with the dio overall. Uh, I mean there were some fiddly bits with the gun and there's some fiddly bits with the truck but I mean you forget about all those once you see the finished result. So really happy with a couple of the little features there with the water which was my first foray into water and wanted it to look dynamic because it was all just moved or poured. I'd literally just taken something out of the out of the washing or uh, the guy looks up while he's pouring into the tin and, and ends up hitting the ground. Uh, really liked the bacon and eggs. I thought they came out quite nicely. I have a couple of clothes close-ups of those later on and I think the static grass uh, for my first go even though I didn't use the machine properly because I actually didn't turn it on had a good overall effect so by and large pretty happy with uh, with how it all goes so we'll move into just a couple of minutes of some stills uh, with a little bit more close-ups and uh, then I'll come back and say goodbye.
so that's it. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed building the diorama. It was uh, quite a different experience. No tanks, just a truck and a gun and a few figures, but uh, it actually meant quite a lot to me to get this finished and I've enjoyed the process of uh, sharing it with you all. So thank you very much and goodbye.